Hello, and welcome to iClone Certified Training. I am your host, ICT4. This tutorial focuses on how to bring your outer space atmosphere into iClone 4.0. First, to bring your outer space atmosphere to your movie, go to the Set tab and add in either a Sky Dome or I like to use a simple 3D block, in this case a container. Go to the Set tab, the Props button, your 3D blocks folder found in your Template tab in the Content Manager and select a container. I'm going to use Bowl 01. I'm going to rotate my bowl around and scale it up quite a bit in the scene and this is going to become my background how I'm going to do this is I'm going to select my diffuse channel under the material and texture settings portion of the menu and select the open button with the folder icon then I'm going to navigate to an image I've already saved of a space background applying this to my diffuse channel now I'm going to add in an extreme large scene camera into the scene and then zoom back with my camera. Then simply choose an angle. That looks pretty good. Now to add other sci-fi elements into the scene, open 3D Exchange 4.0 where we will harvest a model to use in the scene select the Google 3D Warehouse icon from the top or the G button and type in your keyword search. For this we're going to type in Jupiter. As you can see many different options will come up in the search window. But we're going to take the second result from our search from artist GHM Inc and then select the download model button and choose download for SketchUp 6. Select the open option to import this into 3D Exchange. As you can see now the model has been transported into the 3D Exchange viewport. You'll also note that the scene tree is now on the left in 3D Exchange 4.0 and the newly scrollable modify panel is found on the right with all of your old options such as align to ground, center, and reset transform and other new ones available to you such as the weld vertex and auto smooth options that allow you to group nodes in the scene tree such as the front side and back side of our Jupiter model. We now can select the node at the top of the scene tree and then use the align to center button to make sure that our pivot point is located in the center of our object. We can now export by using control plus E, naming our file Jupyter1. I'm going to check on export selected only only if I have individual nodes selected in the scene tree. Make sure your max texture size is chosen either 4096 or 2048 is what I always use. And now you can use the browse option to designate a specific folder or create a new one and then send the object to that folder. You can also use the button found beside the browse button to automatically send directly to your custom props folder. Select OK and then just wait for the successfully exported prompt to come up and then select OK and return to iClean. Once back inside the iClone stage, select your Set tab and Props once again, and then your Custom tab in the Content Manager, and navigate 
to your custom folder. In this case, my planets folder is my new folder in the library, and you can see our Jupiter 1 model is the only piece of content in that folder. Double click to apply this into the scene, and you may need to move your camera a little bit, and then we can also scale that up in our scene and pull the model into the shot using our move tools. Also, we want to make sure that cast shadow is checked off under the display portion of the modify panel and then we can add a couple of glow maps to our scene to enhance the look of both our background and our new Jupiter model. I'm going to select my bowl prop in the scene manager and locate the material and texture settings portion of the menu Select my diffuse map and bring the contrast up to make my sky appear darker and bring the brightness level down a bit. And also add a glow map by selecting the glow channel and the open icon once again. And in the iClone glow template folder, I'm going to select the gold shine glow map and then bring my strength down to vary the amount of glow I'm getting in my background. I want just a little for my HDR effects to be added momentarily. I'm also going to then select my Jupiter model and then select your picker tool from the top and make sure to select the active texture. You'll see that become active in the diffuse channel under the material and texture settings portion of the menu. Then we can double click our glow channel once again and even add the exact same glow image to enhance the glow of our Jupiter planet. I'm going to bring my strength slider down to a very low setting. Now, if I select the stage tab from the top, the atmosphere button, and check on my HDR effect and tone map checkboxes, I can begin to add HDR effects to my scene to enhance the realism of my sci-fi effect. Increase the bloom scale or the Gaussian scale and even change the glare scale as well to add additional spectral enhancement to your scene. Be sure to catch part two of this tutorial to see how to add starships into your next sci-fi project. For more tips and great content, please be sure to visit www.reillusion.com. And for more tutorials, please be sure to check out www.iclonetraining.com.